Marko Yrjövuori, how has the use of technology in training developed in the past years? Okay, well, I joined in, uh, NHL actually uh, late 90s, and only technology we had was a heart rate monitor. And I don't think we, I don't think most of us didn't know how to use it back then either. But uh, it changed dramatically. Uh, I joined NBA in early 2000. And the same thing, you know, the past that, that during that 12 years, what I spent there, actually the, the technology started playing bigger and bigger part. There was a lot of technology which was not that useful. It was cool, cool gadgets, but didn't help us to win any basketball games. So we didn't use them that much. But there were some technologies which we started using, especially I started using with the recovery and sleep, because that is so crucial and important part in NBA where we have 82 games in a regular season. So. It started playing bigger and bigger part, and uh, for somehow that role actually fell into my my hands too, because I was from Finland and I knew some, at least I knew how to use my iPhone, and not the old, the old trainers were not that good at the technology, so I started using it with our guys, and uh, they liked it. So, where do you see it developing in the future? Oh my goodness, uh, I I'm meeting next week with uh, with the company who uh, actually detects your DNA and that DNA is supposed to tell you how to train, how to eat, what vitamins are missing and etc. So I think the technology is it's it's getting almost crazy. But uh, of course my my goal is to multiply myself and be a hologram in somebody's some athlete's house and you know train him over there so I don't have to travel around the world that much anymore.